And now to a story you'll only see here. A Houston man was at work today when he decided to check the surveillance cameras at his home and saw this happening. Unfortunately, a guy was helping himself to some construction equipment. Lauren Tallarico in that Heights neighborhood tonight with the exclusive story. Lauren, you hate to see this. Oh, I know, and Lennon, anyone who has a home security system knows you usually just see a dog or cat roaming around your house, maybe a car driving by. But today, one ho homeowner saw something much more alarming unfolding in this alleyway live. Just in case. I thought, well, you know, it's, it's going to be a big deterrent. That's why so many of us buy these. You know, people are going to look at that and they won't mess with us or our property. And it just so happened that today... It was pure dumb luck that I checked at lunchtime. Kevin Quinn's cameras paid off. On the afternoon drive, radio personality for KRBE. That's 104.1 here in Houston. Quinn was at work, thinking of his brand new patio being built at home when he peeked in on his cameras to take a look. I saw a guy in a vest kind of skulking around my yard, looking around. And at first, I didn't think anything of it because I just thought it was a dude looking to read the meter. And next thing I know, he's starting to mess around with one of the uh, empty trucks. And he starts unloading stuff from their toolbox and putting it in his trunk. Then I knew he wasn't a meter reader. This guy stole about $1,000 worth of tools from Brandon Deich, owner of Creative Scape Designs. I wished I could do something. I was watching it happen in real time. So it was it was so upsetting. The thief was driving a 2014 Mustang convertible and this is what he looks like. And I just wanted to get a good shot of his face so I had a, a really good chance of catching this guy. So a reminder to thieves. I guess there's no accounting for stupid. Just because you don't see anyone doesn't mean they don't see you. The victim lives in Fort Bend County, and get this, he's only worked inside the loop twice. Both times he's had his tools stolen. So if you recognize the guy in that video and you can help him get his tools back, please go ahead and call police. But gosh, Lena Mia, talk about bad luck. Two times, both yeah. times the tools were stolen. Yeah, definitely not good. They need to get that guy off the street. Thanks, Lauren. New tonight, a 12-year-old girl.